So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 19th TypeScript tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to implement fat arrow functions or lambda functions as we say in other languages with TypeScript, right? So now it's, you know, it's 2017 and uh, most of the browsers have implemented lambda functions or, you know, fat arrow notations in JavaScript itself. So you do not actually need TypeScript to work with them but anyways it's a good idea to compile your code to es5 so that you support all the browsers majorly right so before starting let me just give you a quick example so let's just create a class car right and uh, let's just create a variable let's just say gas amount is a number right and in the constructor uh, let's just initialize gas amount to zero right and uh, let's create a method run which would eventually what we would do is set interval function just like we used to do in JavaScript this dot gas amount plus plus right and uh, one more thing, um, let's just create our car object as HTML element, you know it's not necessary to specify it like that but it's up to you, then we can say car object is uh, document dot get element by ID and let's just say this is our um, car or maybe just player car so we can right here create div id player car right and then we have this car object uh, we are incrementing gas amount so i can say this dot car object dot in a text equals this dot gas amount now what do you expect this program to do well if I create something like uh, um, let's just say this is uh, my car is equal to new car right and uh, then I can say my car dot run right so you should or anybody should who doesn't know the scoping of this should expect that this program runs like it would just increment uh, this zero from one two three four five every half a second right so let's just see what it does so we have got our code running and reload this now you can see that we get instead of incrementing this counter every half a second we are getting an error cannot set property in a text of undefined now what is happening well what happens is that when you create an anonymous function the scope of this this variable is not now it's now not referring to this class it has lost its scope right from this class to it now refers to this function or precisely this window right now earlier what we used to do is that we just used to create a variable outside and make it this and then instead of using this directly we may made use of that particular variable now that's a pretty hackish way to get around but uh, a better way would be to use fat arrow functions right and how they work is that you just get rid of this function right and you create something like this right so let's just see what we are getting error as number is not assignable to type string okay let's do it dot to string not a problem right 
so that's where you know TypeScript uh, can't say anything because okay it's just informing me okay so now if we take a look here and reload this you can see it perfectly works now the reason is that the fat arrow functions do not have their own this scope right so they use the this of whatever they are inside right so currently in our fat arrow notation we are not making use of a new this which just refers to that particular function that particular anonymous function but we are just referring to the this of this class right so it's it's easy to create a fat arrow function like for example just like we created a function like uh, you know something like var x is function and then we used to do something like uh, a b c return a times b times c so it's equivalent in fat arrow notation would be var y is equal to this a b c a star b star c right so that's pretty huge reduction in code we can see right here we are missing the function keyword the return keyword all that stuff right so it's kind of if you have just only one liner function but if you want to do something more you can do something like this and with TypeScript you can obviously specify the data type of return as well and do other stuff as well so that's how pretty much fat arrow functions work in TypeScript and uh, that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one